Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Emily Rodder's new three-part fantasy series, Landville, which comes in this beautiful slipcase cover. So you get all three books in the box and these are the books. So you have book one, which is the poison taster, book two, which is the secret keeper and book three, which is the truth teller. And when you put them all together as well on the side, you get a beautiful sort of matching spine design and all of the books have sprayed edges as well. This is a middle grade fantasy series from one of Australia's very famous prolific middle grade fantasy authors. She's been writing fantasy and children's books for as long as I can remember even from when I was a child. And the really cool thing about this series is that all three books are actually being released at once. So Ellen and Unwin sent me these books for review so thank you very much to them and it's designed to be a series that you can just literally jump from one book to the next so that you don't have to wait which is a rarity these days in publishing because things are released you know about a year apart but in this case you get the entire story at once which for middle grade fantasy readers would be a huge relief. So what is Landavelle about? I will talk mostly about the first book in the series which is The Poison Taster because it kind of sets up the world and I don't really want to spoil what happens in the rest of the series. This is the story of Derry, Straw and Cat who are all taken as slaves at the very start of this book. We spend the majority of our time in Derry's perspective. Derry is a poison taster. He was taken from his family and forced to become a slave for the slave trader Cram when he was quite young. And Derry also possesses the ability to read, which is very uncommon for people because in Landavel, which is originally one continent that has split into two, it's very uncommon in one of the Landavel lands for people to learn how to read. And he possesses the ability and so Cram not only uses him as his poison taster, but also as someone who can read the myths of Landavel to him. And so the first part of the book is really that. And throughout the entire book, we get a, we get a lot of stories about Landavel and the mythological first people of Landavel, the L. And then one day a mysterious woman turns up on this little island where Cram keeps all of his slaves and she is followed by the previously thought of myths, the L. And suddenly Derry's entire world changes. Very soon after this, a group of people come to the island and save the children, but they also have an ulterior motive. And eventually, Derry and some of his reluctant friends and allies, Straw and Cat, are recruited for a mission to go to True Landavel to try and track down a missing resistance leader in hope in the hopes that they'll be able to do something to reunify the two lands of El. So that kicks off an adventure that continues in the next two books and the whole story is very easy to read and really enjoyable. It's very much one of those books where you finish one book and you, def you definitely want to continue on to the next one. The characters are fun, there's a lot of world building that takes place in book one that then leads you into the rest of the story and it makes for really fun reading. It very comfortably sits in the middle fiction middle grade category of readership so you're not worrying about it being too old or it being too young. It's very very comfortably in that sort of 9 to 14 age bracket and sometimes that is really difficult to achieve these days and I had a really great time reading it. So this is a series for anyone who is an Emily Rodder fan or a middle grade fantasy fan. It's definitely an enjoyable reading opportunity. There are some twists and some turns and that always makes it a really fun and enjoyable reading experience. So down below I will leave links where you can find out more information about the series as well as the author. Thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review titles. It was a huge surprise to get the entire collection but I but that's the point of the series is that the whole thing is already complete and ready to go. In the comments below I'd love to know if you've read Emily Rodder before and if you have what your favourite of her titles are or if you're planning on picking this one up feel free to let me know that as well. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.